The Five Nights at Freddy's movie trailer has just dropped and it is everything the FNAF fans have been asking for. It's got action, it's got animatronics, and it's got secrets. And after eight years of waiting, it is finally looking like the movie we've all been hoping for. So go ahead and grab yourself some popcorn and a fresh slice of Freddy Fazbear's signature, Zah. Because we're diving into the secrets that you missed in the FNAF movie trailer. And what I found is gonna blow your mind. <laughs> Purple Gay! Hey yo, you boys have to see this again. So we're gonna work our way chronologically through the trailer, looking at every single part of this trailer. Welcome and we're gonna find Freddy all the secrets Fazbear's and we're gonna discover Pizzeria. all of the little bits of lore and hidden stuff. So straight away, as you can see, we've got one of the foxy plushies down in the bottom corner. Everything else is just kind of neutral and very 1980s pizzeria vibe. Obviously, we've got the little hint of the foxy plushie. Now these little fellas are scattered everywhere around the location. We'll have a look at it later on. There's a prize corner. But if you didn't already know, this is actually one of the original Sanchi plushies. You got the two foxies over here, one of those bad boys. So they've got the Sanchi plushies on set. So the prop design, I've, I've found them. But that's the one that looks like when we look at FNAF 4. That is the plushie that's hiding in the closet when Foxy's in there and you take him back to his very beginning of his set move. So there you go. I'm sure most of you probably noticed that one, but we're going to start off easy and get to the real secret stuff. This kid over here is obviously very, very happy. It's his birthday. He's having a great time here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. If you're having a great time, watching the video, please go ahead and smash that like button and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Are you hyped for the FNAF movie? Tell me if you are going to see this film day one. Tell me what you're looking forward to the most about the movie. And hey, what was your favorite part of the trailer? And hey, if there is something I have missed, please let me know down in the comment section below because I'm sure there's probably something in this video hiding up in the background. There's someone out there will spot that I have missed. So let me know. Freddy, my boy, what, 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 what's one thing in life that you're always going to need? Your mother? Help, Freddy. In life, you're always going to need some help, and believe me, buddy, you're gonna need a lot of it. I thought we were friends. And who better to ask for help than somebody who's legitimately built for the job? And he's so cute. Wouldn't you like to have help from Helpy? He has hearts for toe beans. So yeah, YouTube is a proud sponsor of today's video. Thank you very much, mommy and daddy. For seven days only, you can get your hands on one of these five beautiful plushies that include Helpy, as we have seen here today. But you also have Ennard, you have Mangle, you have Glitch Trap, and you got Baby. And trust me when I say this, this guy is so unbelievably soft. But hey, that's not all he can do. He can help you wash the dishes. He can help you wash your back. And hey, he can even help you hide the bodies. Sus. So remember, these five brand new plushies are only available for seven day so don't miss out down in the description below there will be a link click on that bad boy and go and reserve your one now before it's too late only available from the 16th to the 23rd of may sorry freddy i've got a new best friend but either way this guy's having a party this is just a traditional training tape that mike is presumably going to be watching at the very start of the film or when he takes over anyway over in the background we've got the ball pit which we see later on and we just got a foosball table that was just a generic um video game there uh, it looks like is it galactica or something Something like that. I don't know. Don't recognize it. But these were just generic pinball machines. There is nothing too significant about these from when we were walking around on set. The ball pit is later on, as um, we'll find out in this trailer. Abby hides in there from an animatronic. It's not the animatronic who you think it is. There we go. We've got the showtime button up there, which is obviously going to call to action the animatronics. And here we go. We get the first visualization of the animatronics right here. we got Freddy, we've got Chica, and we have got Bonnie. Now, this is is the exact same way they are posed in the old Five Nights at Freddy's 1 trailer. If you have a look at that, we'll have it on screen at the same time. This is exactly how they are at that time, and they're proper lip syncing as well. Freddy and the rest of the animatronics are fully automated. You'll see Bonnie's ears as well. Let's go and have a look. Bonnie's ears are moving. We'll have another quick look there so you can have a proper look. Bonnie's ears move. It is amazing. I can't remember. I don't think Chica's cupcake does anything. I think it's literally just in her hands. Good old Carl the cupcake over there. But the background to the set, you can't quite see it. But again, it's identical to the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 trailer. It is the show stage from the game. It is all one-to-one -one identical. It is fantastic. Here we go. Everything's closed down. We're in present day now. We're outside of the VHS tape, which is very obvious. And we've got the closed, abandoned pizzeria. If you're watching this video, 
There we go. We got my Mike coming in here. My man Mike. He's the security. I don't know if this is his first day or not, but as you can see, again, the decor. This is the patented Freddy Fazbear walls right here. Now, here we go. This is going to be very interesting. We've got a lot to talk about over here. So, over on the very left-hand side, we got a wall of what presumably is pictures that the um, kiddos have drawn right there. There's, um, you, you see them in various different trailers. We find them around all the games. There is loads of pictures on the walls. And there's, this is obviously a, a homage to that over here. Over in the very back, though, towards Mike's left, you have got Prize Corner. You see it over there. You see prizes written up the top. So over there, you've got loads of different, like, plushies and the, the, the kind of things you would win at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria if you've played Help Wanted. It's, 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 it's kind of stuff like that that you would get over there um you got the kitchen over here obviously that's where they serve all the pizza to bring out to the customers and you got the the table layout over here now if you're a true old school fnaf fan you're about to see something very familiar and that is brightening the teaser images yeah baby hey yo i love doing this whenever scott used to drop a teaser on scottgames.com and we were able to just brighten up the images and see what we could find so yes here you go you can actually see a little bit more of the prize corner okay so you've got like a chicken mask here you've got a couple of t-shirts you've got a freddy plushie there again it's just one of the one of the sanchi ones you can kind of you see behind me there we go we've got one of those bad boys right there as well oh it's so good i think is that bonnie there i'm not 100 certain but there we go we can see them over in the background you can see clearer now that i've brightened the image up that this area over here is uh is is a kitchen or at least where you order the food because you got the cash register right there you got a couple of trays here and you can see the 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 the, the, the equipment over in the background very cool very nice is that some old zaj is lying on the table. That's a waste not want, not Freddy. Go and eat that, my mans. And again, over here, you can, uh, like I was saying before, you can see clearly now that these are pictures that the, the kiddos have drawn and they are, uh, it's just nice decoration. It's nice that Freddy Fazbear has put some pictures up on the wall. Just give the place a little bit of life in amongst all that uh, uh, unalive. <laughs> now that we've brightened the image up, you can clearly see how much effort has gone into making this pizzeria alive. It's not just a set dressing. It's not just dark and they think, oh, we can get away with it because of all the mood lighting and stuff like that. It's just going to darken up. You're not going to see it. This feels like a real pizzeria. This feels like a real Freddy Fazbear's pizzeria. It's not like a knockoff Chuck E. Cheese that they've modeled after. They've done their research. And from speaking to the, the, the cast, the crew, and everybody working on the project, they have worked so hard to make sure the fans believe the FNAF is real. And FNAF is real, baby. FNAF is real. Here we go. There we go. We got a little, sh uh, little sneak glimpse at Bonnie right there. And Bonnie is just... Look how big... I know Bonnie's up on the stage, but Bonnie is a giant. Bonnie is technically the biggest because he's got the ears on top as well that makes him seem so much bigger. There we go. We got um, Josh as Mike just having a little look in there. What a handsome man. Then you got Freddy over here looking absolutely amazing. And, and you can see the endoskeleton inside. Like, these animatronics are so spot on as well. You've got all the wires coming down the back as well. you got Chica in the background. I'm going to brighten this image as well. Now, there's nothing else here. It's just Chica and Freddy standing still. He's gone up. Obviously, when you first go and see the animatronics, this is obviously Mike's first night. He's having a little snoop around, seeing what he's got to guard and make sure nothing goes wrong. And uh, he just comes across the animatronics. And that's cool. That is fine. He's very chill. That doesn't last for long, though. Got a lovely, lovely cinematic uh, picture there of Carl. Just a quick Quick little glimpse of Carl there. Not doing much, but Carl, he's just a lovely little cake there. And that's, the, I would eat Chica's cake. Right, okay, here we go. Obviously, we've got the big Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria sign. This is what everybody was hyped about. When this sign was put onto the internet because somebody found the set. Actually, no, I think... I, I can't remember exactly how it came out. I think I actually the account that created or the, the company that created it tweeted it out. Anyway, this sign makes it look like Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria is real. And seeing all the lights on, oh, oh, it's so good, especially at night, it, the, the, the way it glows. And obviously, this light going on like this is probably what draws Vanessa to the location. 
And here we go. This is what we've all been waiting for. The office, baby. The main point of the Five Nights at Freddy's games, the only place you really get to see in the first game is just the office as you're looking left and right. And here we go. This is that bad boy. You've got the cup over here, the, the patented cup that I used to throw at animatronics in Help Wanted. And that's always there. You've got the Celebrate poster, which looks exactly like it's in the game. We've got another picture up here. We'll have a look at it where we brighten it. And obviously, you've got the cameras. And you've got the camera console down here in front of you as well. So, yes, it's not like a flip-up tablet or screen or something. It's very old school because, obviously, this place is old. And... And the way it's done is very faithful to the game, and, and I appreciate that. I really do. So let's have a look at this. Now we've brightened it up. We get to have a good look. And do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? The fan is here. This is how faithful to the game they have gone. I mean, logically... This place will probably get very, very haughty and you'd be like a soup downstairs. So you're gonna have to have yourself a little bit of fan in here. That's just logical at this point. But yes, as you can see, we've got like a little um manual or, or, or flyer or something for Freddy Fazbear's up on the wall here. You got some more Freddy Fazbear information saying thanks from the manager, William Afton, probably. You've got uh, the, the console and then you've got the, the camera feeds there. I'm gonna not brighten it so much so we can have a look at the camera feeds a little bit closer. Over here, let's have a Look at this camera feed first. At the top left, we have got the, this is the ball pit area where the arcade machine is. You've got a you got a, a think. That's the ball pit right here on the left hand side, which again is very significant as we've already seen. This just looks like a corridor. Is that outside? I can't tell. Is that a corridor? I actually don't know where this image is from, where that camera's looking at. Obviously, here you've got one of the you've got the show stage here where Freddie, Bonnie, and Chica are gonna be, which we see them on feed later on, or are they already? Yeah, so that camera later on actually shows Freddie, Bonnie, and Chica. You've got the closet there where Bonnie goes to hide in the game. You've got the hallway that is that the hallway that Foxy runs down, or is that a different one? I can't remember. I don't think that's the hallway Foxy runs down. Is that the top right hand corner? That must be the top right hand corner. Near the bathrooms, maybe? Or is that the closet where Bonnie is? That might be the closet where Bonnie is. I think that's the closet where Bonnie is. And that's why they are side by side here. That's just the, the, the exterior to that closet that right there. Over here, you've just got the the, 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 the general, the, what are the party rooms? Because you've got the tables lined up. It's probably just another shot of the uh, main pizzeria area. And over on this side, which is the big monitor with four feeds are, this is the corridor that Foxy runs down right here. You've got outside... And these three are all outside, it looks like. This is looking out into the car park. This over here is looking at the front entrance. I think these doors here for the front door. And I'm not sure what this is. And, and in the top right, I think it's another car park. So, yeah, they've got a lot of detail in here. A lot of very important images. And, again, it's faithful to the game and the game cameras. The camera system is important in the film as it was important in the game and I'm glad that they have kept that in because that is a big thing because that's all we could basically do. Apart from shut doors, all we could do is monitor on the cameras and that's what made this horror game so good is you had that feeling of being trapped and obviously Mike's could experience that and presumably that other night guard that we saw as well, he experienced it. I don't think he lasted long, though. <laughs> yeah, here we go. As I said before, we got the switch up of cameras, and now it's looking at the show stages. Obviously, on the right-hand side of Bonnie looking down, and you've got Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica. Again, that's exactly how it looks like in the game. You've got the, the corridor, the foxy, and uh, Bonnie come down on the left-hand side, and on the right over here, you've just got the storage locker. There's nothing too secret in there. There we go. We've got Mike in this place. He's obviously heard some sort of noise, some sort of rustling. All the power is on now, so we can see all the lights up. And this is where we first see Freddy Fazbear out of his zone. He's not supposed to be here, but he's also not here to jump, Mike. He's not here to do anything other than probably assess the situation. He's not got his red eyes, which we see later on. It doesn't look like he's out here to harm him. He's out here to just probably scout out the area. Freddy's the leader of the band. He's the leader of this group. And obviously, he's just making sure that things are going to be okay for the rest of them. Whatever's going on here... I mean, they don't like night guards in the game. So it's probably going to be very similar in this film as well. So Freddy's there. And he's looking good. He's looking real, real good, isn't he? I just love that he's just... He is just quite chill, isn't he? He's just quite chill. Checking him out. And Mike's going to have a heart attack. Unless... 
Freddy laughs and teleports as Mike turns around. That would be a really good moment. That would be a really good... So, so Mike hears the laugh, turns around, but Freddy's gone because that was the noise in the game to signal that Freddy had moved location. It was Freddy's laugh, he would laugh, and that meant he moved. That's how you had to... Had to um, track Freddy around Five Nights at Freddy's 1. That is real good. That's a good, good uh, cinematography shot right there. That is so We're good. We're going to have so much fun together. I love the intermixing of the VHS tape because this is obviously showing that Mike's had to watch this at some point because this is some sort of training tape. Heather. This here, this is just absolutely savage. Absolutely savage. This is some kind of... Is that... I don't know if this is Mike. Hold on a second. This is meant to made to look like Mike, isn't it? But does Mike have a tie on? Mike's just got a hoodie on. Yeah, look, Mike's just got a hoodie on saying security. So that person that was trapped in that chair was not Mike. They tried to trick us in the trailer. They tried to trick us, but you, your boy's got good eyes. Your boy's got really good eyes. And he spotted that this person in this chair is not Mike. This person here that's getting strapped down to the chair is not Mike, but then Mike is in front of whatever this device is. So that is interesting. That is very, very interesting. So unless they use this device multiple times, and this is how they actually get rid of the night guards, because this is all, I think this is the fellow that we see later on. I'm sure he's in a tie. So whatever that is, that's a William Afton design right there. This is patented William Afton technology right here. Because who else would create this? The animatronics aren't going to create it. They're not in there. That's not their business. That's not their jam. This is William Afton's Workshop 101. He is trapping people to chairs. And he has created some sort of Freddy device. That is definitely Freddy's head. That shape there. That is Freddy's head. And he's put like saw mechanics inside it. So is this a game? Is Mike and this other night guard and whatever other night guards in the past have been used in this Freddy device of uh, horror? Is this something that is like a little game for them to try and escape? Like Saw, for instance. Or is this just a bye-bye night guard, you're gone now? It depends who's using it. Depends who's using it. That's the thing. It might have been created by William, but it doesn't mean William's using it now. There we go, we got Foxy there laughing. I don't know if that's some kind of clue that Foxy pops up afterwards. Is that to do with the device that's being used? But either way, that laugh that comes in, I still can't work out. I've listened to it hundreds of times at this point. I can't work out who does that laugh. Oh, Carl, the cupcake. That's who it'll be. Because it's not Freddy, Freddy's got a signature laugh. Foxy's a pirate. You would, he, he, would have, he wouldn't have a laugh like that. It wouldn't be Bonnie. Probably not Chica, so it's gotta be Carl. That laughter is Carl the cupcake. Calling it now. That's what it is. And then this is where things obviously go a little bit wrong. We've got Piper over here as Abby looking up at Freddy. She's come along at another night because it's, it's Mike's um, sister, right? And she's looking at Freddy and Freddy's eyes are like, hello. But they're not red there. So I don't I don't think that means danger. Here is a very good point. This is a very good cinematography piece. Um, adds to the mystery as well. Why are there loads of creepy children hanging around? Well, first of all, uh, these children are clearly the five children uh, that have gone missing in Five Nights at Freddy's. If you don't know the lore, five children went missing in Five Nights at Freddy's Pizzeria in the first game. And that's why there's been loads of news stories and the place shut down. And the, the, we found out that the, the Bodes have been stuffed inside the animatronic suits. William Afton and his shenanigans, huh? Okay, so each one of these kiddos is obviously representing one of the animatronics. The animatronic that they were probably most likely stuffed inside or they are just had their soul slash remnant, whatever you want to call it nowadays, the Fazgu, something, the agony, I can't, I don't even know what it's called anymore. Their soul is inside the animatronic. Now, each one is given away contextually with some clues. Over here on the left-hand side, the guy's wearing rabbit ears. It's got to be Bonnie. I'm pretty certain. And the height of him as well kind of suggests that it'd be Bonnie. Bonnie's a, a big, tall boy. Now, this fellow over here is a little bit more difficult, so we'll leave him out just now. Foxy over there in the background, wearing orange, got the orange hair. Foxy 101. Easy. And it looks like maybe there's something in his hand. We'll have a look at the second image as well, but the hand is looking maybe silver or white compared to the other hand over there on the left-hand side. His left hand, sorry. 
So maybe that means it's just a toy hook, something like that, to represent Foxy even further. Otherwise, we're just going off the orange. Over here on the right-hand side, it's the only girl around here. Unfortunately, that clearly just means <laughs> that's just Chica. And to compound it even further, she's in yellow. She's in yellow over here. Chica's yellow. Easy, easy fix. Now, here we go. Let's have a look at this image over here because we can have a look because we didn't see the fifth child who is over here. This kiddo over here with the hat was kind of hidden behind Mike in that first image. So here we go. Foxy, this kid has definitely got a hook in his hand. That has got to be Foxy. So there we go. Easy. Now for these two kiddos over here, you've got the one on the left hand side in the blonde hair and you've got the one wearing the hat. I'm thinking that the one wearing the white hat is Freddy. The one wearing the white hat is Freddy, and then the one in the left over here has got to be Golden Freddy. And the reason I'm thinking that is if we come back to the first image, this fella is kind of in the front, and it suggests that Golden Freddy is, more, is in charge of everybody else. Now, I'm just going off contextual clues. I don't know much about Golden Freddy in the film, but that's what it looks like. And the only reason I don't think it's the puppet slash marionette is because um, that's Charlie, right? But at the end of the day, let me know what your thoughts and feelings are down in the comment section below. So this obviously looks like some sort of dream sequence. Why are we suddenly outside in the, in the daylight, in the woods, with these kiddos just running around? Somebody has obviously infiltrated Mike's dreams or mind or something thing at this point here because otherwise it wouldn't make sense the way these kids are dressed up is these are clearly symbolizing or these are the souls slash what the kiddos looked like before william afton did his dirty deeds so that's what that is it's too obvious otherwise so it's got to be some sort of dream sequence dream theory here we go baby <laughs> There you go, William Afton. There he is. And the fact that William Afton is straight after, there's a big smile on his face. This man is proud. He's proud of what he has done. And that's why he is the next image up. The laughter in the background, along with the kiddos running away like that, suggests that William Afton is the one here doing the deeds. Now, let's have a little scan. This is the only image we see of William Afton in the entire film or trailer, should I say, and that's obviously setting it up. We as fans know who Will, uh, Matthew has been cast as, and we know that William is the bad, bad, naughty man. Now, obviously, if you have no idea about Five Nights at Freddy's, you would have no idea who this fella is and why he's suddenly here smiling. It's obviously given some sort of clue. Other than that, I've had a look around this image and you can't see much. I've tried zooming in on these plaques on the wall, these certificates, so he's obviously some form of well-educated man enough. Um, his office is here. It doesn't say that it's in Five Nights at Freddy's. This looks lo more likely to be his house, the Afton residence. This is clearly where he lives. He's not... A, you can't really see his hand to see if I had a wedding ring. There's no clues here to tell that he's even purple guy. He's wearing a blue tie. At least give him a purple tie. Purple tie for purple guy. I love the glasses, though. They are amazing. He looks like an Afton. I'm telling he look. he is perfect casting. It's perfect casting over here. And then you've just got loads of files and folders up there. None of these are probably going to be important to the lore of Five Nights at Freddy's. My man's isn't just going to have animatronic schematics up in their background, is he? And other than that, there is nothing here. I'm happy, but also disappointed. I wanted little ha things in the background. So if I have missed anything, let me know down in the comment section below. Now, this image here is very interesting. He's looking up as if he has just fallen from a height. It looks like there's broken wood or something around here. And this flooring is just like little bits of old tree that have just um, fallen off and just started to dry out. But this looks like broken bits of tree and it looks like he's fallen the way he's there. I could be wrong about that, but that's what I get from that image. Obviously, an animatronic is running up on this poor night garden. As I said before, that man has a big old tie on. This is a security guard that we see in the chair. So this chair with the, the Freddy mask with the saw inside it, or the blades at least, that mask is used multiple times. Now, this man clearly goes bye-bye and is probably near the start of the film, so Mike replaces him. Logically, you show everybody uh, what these animatronics can do, and then you sacrifice some random person, some random night guard, and then you bring in the main character, so we already know what these animatronics can do. He's looking up. They are tall. I mean, this guy could be really small, but he is looking up, so he's clearly looking up at a very tall animatronic that's coming in fast, so that would hint that it's probably Foxy. However, 
if it was Foxy that was going after him, this is now a different location, because as we can see over here, there is a ball from the ball pit, and looks like some sort of trolley over here. And then we've got Piper, who is Abby, in the ball pit, and she's hiding. Whether she's playing with hide-and-seek with the animatronics, or something else is happening, she's hiding in the ball pit, and she's gonna look up, and there's her point of view, and there is Foxy. At first, I thought this was Freddy, because of the next image that we're gonna see, but this is actually Foxy, you can tell, because of the way the face is shaped, you can see that it's red. I will brighten it up, just to prove it. There you go, you can clearly see, like it's daytime, that over there is Foxy. One red eye lit up, the second eye is covered in an eye patch. Obviously, the snout's slightly different because it's elongated, and you've got the red fur around it. There, there we go. It's Foxy, baby. It's Foxy. We gotta see the man in a little bit of action. We gotta see his toesies, and we gotta see part of his face. They're obviously waiting for the big Foxy reveal later on because Foxy's a fan favorite. Everybody loves Foxy, so having him in the first trailer, like, you just tease him. You tease him, and then you have him do his stuff in the next full cinematic trailer. Anyway, it's always good to see Foxy. Everybody's fave. Now, whether he He's good or not, Foxy's meant to be the good guy, if you remember that theory back in the day. Foxy looked like he was playing hide and seek with Abby, but I don't know if that's actually happening because the red eyes on and that you that symbolizes danger most likely. And then we've got Freddy appearing, you got Bonnie appearing just there, and then you got the Five Nights of Freddy's logo. Let's have a look at the animatronics there. Where is this? Is that the show stage behind them? So again, this is a different area. This isn't up by the ball pit. Because the ball pit's here, and the, we've already seen on the cameras. Yeah, that looks like the show stage, and the light's on the roof. And that'll be Pirate Cove, behind Freddy. Uh, to, to Freddy's right-hand shoulder to the left-hand side of the screen, because that's the show stage over there, on the right-hand side. So they, Freddy and... and um, Bonnie are obviously looking at somebody who's fallen on the ground. Very interesting. Yeah, there's definitely something over here on the left-hand side. Definitely something over here. So Freddy and Bonnie are here, staring over at whoever's fallen over. It's either somebody's fallen over or they're staring at, um, Abby. And there we go, Five Nights at Freddy's! The movie is coming out so soon, the 27th of October, baby. I cannot wait. And well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was everything you missed in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie trailer. If you did enjoy today's video, please go ahead and smash that like button. It really, really is appreciated. And tell me, what did you miss in this trailer? Let me know down in the comment section below. And hey, if there is something I have missed that is of big significance, let me know down there as well. And a massive shout out and thank you again to everybody over at YouTube for sponsoring today's video. Remember, Helpy and the rest of the animatronics are only on sale for one week, so if you want one of them, don't miss out. In the description below, click that bad boy and go and reserve yourself whatever ones you want right now. Make sure you finish this video first, then go! And a super special thank you to everybody over at Blumhouse and Scott as well for supplying me with this trailer, trusting me with the trailer, and trusting me to go on set with them. It was one experience that I'll never forget and seeing it all come to life really is amazing and trust me and I hope you have been trusting me so far and can see that what we've been seeing so far is true you're going to love this film everything is looking so good and I, I hope you feel that way as well I'm so excited I cannot wait to see the final product either way run around my face just now there's gonna be another couple of videos I know you'll enjoy click on one of them bad boys and I'll see you over there I'm a Razbowski you've been the beautiful raspberries as always for watching and I love each and every single one of you Goodbye!